in the distant, ancient land of Medaponia, where the sky drinks the oceans in a bizarre display of science gone loopy. The noble empire is locked in a fierce thousand year conflict with the evil dark creatures. You raid our villages, murder our families, shave our pets, and use our ancient scrolls as toilet paper! You are ugly! Cities have been destroyed, holy temples ransacked, and picnics ruined, but there is one man who can stop it, if he can be bothered. Ah, good morning. May I interest you in some of my craftsmanshipness? All right. What you got? I I have the finest blades in all the land. Do you have any halberds? Halberds? Good God, no. You're a blacksmith, and you don't have any halberds. No. Who wants them? They're far too slow. It takes a year for even the strongest man to raise one in the air. The only way you'll be able to kill someone with a halberd is to write a rude word on it and hope your opponent is extremely conservative. Who has halberds anyway? The Imperial Army, sir. Well, that's why you keep losing. If you don't mind, I'll be taking my business elsewhere. Very well. Sir knows best. Halbert. He's obviously trying to compensate for something. Uh, just a minute! Probably some other idiot wanting to buy a stick with an anvil on it. Hi! Um, uh, hello, Mr... Wizard. Oh please, call me Wizard Whitebeard. Aha, that'll be because of the... I know, the ears. Um... How can I help you then, Mr. Whitebeard? Are you... John Redwood? Y yes. How can I help? The John Redwood? You're not from the tax office, are you? Then... You are... The Chosen One! But, but, but you are the Chosen One! Elf off! Stupid time waster. Ah! You are the Chosen One, John Redwood! I'm a blacksmith! You fit the perfect criteria for the Chosen One. <laughs> well... You're humble? Not really. And you have no parents? No! I just haven't contacted them in a while. Actually, they might be dead. Then you are the Chosen One. And you will accompany me to the capital to meet the King and win the war. Okay, okay, one step at a time. And to fulfill your destiny, you must wield the Sword of Purpose. What sort of... Oh. I don't remember owning that. And don the armor of doing things. What and where is that? Well, we'll go questing for it later. Now, pack your things and be ready to meet at sunrise tomorrow by the tree 
of inciting incident. But I'm not the chosen w- Twenty gold pieces. Fifteen. Oh come on! This is elvish steel, the best there is! Elves don't wield swords. Did I say elvish? I meant Quam Diddlypuff steel. What the hell is a Quam Diddlypuff? A, um, a, a, a creature of the north! An elusive race with two heads! Fifteen. Final offer. Oh, fine! You do know this is practically theft. That makes me a terrible thief. Oh! You Semverians think you're so witty! Just you wait until the dark creatures come along and shove spears up your- Ah! Chosen one? You have just sold the Sword of Purpose! No, I sold it on purpose! I'm not going on your quest, I'm not meeting to the king, and I'm not participating in this stupid, bloody war! Right! That is it! Hey! You never said this sword could vanish! <coughs> You're coming with me, John Redwood! Haha! <coughs> -ha! Nothing happened. Oh. Hmm. Welcome to the capital, you ungrateful lowlife. Huh. You know, you're actually quite good at magic. It's not magic, it's just badly explained science. Halt in the name of the king. I am Wizard Whitebeard. I have come to see the king. I'm afraid I cannot let you through until you've signed all of the necessary paperwork. <laughs> Ah, Whitebeard, the king has been expecting you. Well, lead on, Lord Wormface. Follow me. <laughs> um, sorry, did you say something? Oh no, <clears throat> I just got some evil in my throat. This way, gentlemen. Your Grace, the Wizard Whitebeard, and the Sundry Peasant. Peasant? Why haven't you executed him for being poor? I'm a blacksmith, Your Grace. Many of your men are armed with my weapons. Except the ones with halberds. Excellent! Keep up the good fight! Not only that, Your Grace, but here's the Chosen One. The what? Oh, not you too. The Chosen One! The one foretold in ancient lore to vanquish all evil and restore order to made up Onia! Oh, him! Well, bloody good, I'll let you get on with that. Now, Lord Wormface, what was it you wanted me to try again? Oh, a special wine, Your Grace. It's an infusion of anthrax and cyanide. Very nice. Wonderful! Why can't no one else see that that Wormface guy is evil? Evil? Nonsense. He's a lovely chap. Although he did try to kill me one time. So, can I go home now? No. Now, we must find the armor of doing things. Right. But I'm only going if you have a lead. Do you have a lead? Nope. But let's start by asking that poorly disguised man over there. Uh, hello? Hi. Do you know where I can find the armor of doing things? Certainly. I have just the spell. Havresto Dementor! No, no. That's a spell to knock people out and teleport them to your evil lair. And it's not even right. This is how you do it. Havresto 
Nice going, grey ears. Welcome, gentlemen. I am Quick Quag of the Quam Diddlypuffs. You have got to be elfing me. Long ago, the great wizard Whitebeard was born. As with all severe cases of childbirth, it was a disgusting incident that shall not be described. But when the wizard Whitebeard was just a boy, he already exhibited great power. Daddy, what does this do? No! Put that down! Without parents, he wandered alone, stealing ancient volumes to hone his badly explained science. Until one day, when he found the ancient prophecy that says John Redwood will be the one to end the Thousand Year War. Of course, the book also said that slavery was totally cool. So perhaps it's all just a load of... Your exalted one, I give you the two prisoners you requested. Exalted one prisoners, prisoners exalted one. Kor fetov and naki krat forza, naki ra ne grosset asut ufa fagan. His Excellency says, Hi, prisoners. Uh, hello, exalted one of the Quam Dilly Puffs. What is the meaning of our imprisonment? His Excellency says you wanted to steal the armor of doing things. Steal? No. Only a little bit. Koke na krol de stili stili naki naki arazaka ni asi tu fira de gunne asu zo. Look, maybe we a troll it doy doy and knock it all steely steely and knock it on smashy smashy smashy. Maybe we His Excellency says Shut up! <gasps> Look, we weren't trying to steal anything, we didn't mean to interfere, and I'm not the chosen one. You're the chosen one? No, I'm not the chosen one! You will doom us all! I am am I communicating in some sort of elvish dialect? LV LV doi doi e nakri fu di kaki go SHUT UP! YOUR MAJESTY! If the Chosen One has come amongst us, then he will kill us all! Why? Because the Empire thinks we're allied with the dark creatures! But you're not. Are you? No! We don't want to get involved in this war! But the Armor of Purpose is the only thing that keeps everyone away! I don't want to get involved in this war either. Then why are you here? Because you captured us! Oh yes. Let us prove to you that he is the chosen one, and that he will be true to his word. Yes! Let us have him fight in combat! What? Excellent idea! If he survives, then he is the chosen one! If he dies, then we all get a good chuckle.
If I don't get out of this alive, I'm going to kill you, Whitebeard! Ramediapi laggy laggy will smashy smashy chosy wani! Behold! The Exalted One's Champion! Holy... Elf... Never fear, you'll have the sword of purpose. I don't think purpose can kill. Just stab it with the pointy end. I know how a sword works! Let the jewel begin! I will crush you! Heart of a poet. That's going to leave a mark! Woohoo! Excellent shots, your majesty. Yes, yes. Send in the next prisoner! Drink, your majesty? No. Just keep the supply of live targets coming. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> right in the face! Yes, yes. Perhaps you might want to switch places. What do you mean? I mean... Perhaps his majesty would like to be a live target for my practice. <laughs> what a splendid idea! You're a clever fellow. I'll take my place now. Oh, slippery there. Okay. When you're ready, Wormface. <laughs> I've been ready for a long, long time. Face, how are you supposed to be my hand if you can't even shoot straight? You moron! Sorry, your majesty. I... I need more practice. Too right, you do. Wait... John, I got what we came for! Sorry, I'm too busy about to be killeding. I will crush you! What in the name of me is going on? I, I... I have no idea, your majesty. I could have sworn someone had cut the rope, holding the decorative anvil you erected yesterday. Oh? Wormface, I think someone is trying to kill me. <gasps> really, your majesty? Measures must be taken. I need you to guard me every hour of the day and night. You're the only one I can trust, Wormface. Never fear, your majesty. I will make sure that I never... Leave your sides. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Did you say something? Uh, no, your majesty. Drink? Wow! What an amazing escape! Yes! The way you kicked him in his... And the way you zapped him in his... And the way you jumped down the... And the way you conjured up... And the way you rode it! Gosh! I'm so glad I got to see all that! Yes! Wouldn't it have been awful if we didn't? Yes! Oh, um, uh... About that sword... You imbecile! You can't just buy swords of purpose at the market, you know! Oh, thank goodness I got the armor of doing things, otherwise I don't know what! What?! I thought we were going to leave it there! It's for the greater good! But what about the greater good?! Alright! I'm sure stealing a civilization's most sacred relic won't in any way come back to haunt us. First step. I suddenly have to pee. You can guard me while I evacuate myself. Long ago, during the darkest times of the Thousand Year War, when there was nothing interesting in the news for weeks, the deadliest of all the dark creatures emerged. He was a great warrior with horns and gleaming bright armor that reflected everything, including the fourth wall. He believed that the best things in life were crushing his enemies, seeing them driven before him, and golf. He became the leader of the dark creatures, and a wave of destruction spread throughout the whole of Metaponia. He was thus named the Bull, and was as admired by the dark creatures as he was feared by the Imperials. Everyone else regarded him as... okay, I guess. Um, I was just testing our security, your majesty. Great me! Our security is terrible! We must execute all the guards! What? Oh, no, 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 that won't be necessary, your majesty. You just get some sleep. Right-o! Sweet dreams, worm face. Good night, your majesty. Sleep well. John? John? John! Oh, for goodness sakes! Summon John! Oh, 
Oh, um, hi, Beardface. Stop trying to run away! But the Quam Dilly Pass will be here any time now. They'll execute us and eat our intestines in cold blood. Don't you see? Of course not. Just teleport us somewhere safe. It's not that simple. Oh, what is it? Was it Pointy Hat's law of plot contrivance? How did you know that? Oh, just a shot in the dark. Which is precisely what we'll be getting if we don't move! Don't be ridiculous. They're savages. They probably haven't even realised that the armor of doing things is missing. Grots the smashy battle commencia! Uh, His Excellency says... Kill them both! <laughs> Nice knowing you, John. Really? No. Sabul! Retreat! 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 Uh, morning! Nice weather today! Have we been captured again? I don't think so. Good morning, gentlemen. I am the bull, but you can call me the. Um, pleased to meet you, Mr. Bull. My name is John Redwood, and this is Wizard Whitebeard. A pleasure to meet you, Mr. Redwood. But I already know Mr. Whitebeard. I'm sorry, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. You are the scholar who alleges to have found the Chosen One at last. Yes. But you also believe that women are naturally inferior. Wait, there are women in this world? Somewhere. My point is that you are a crackpot, Mr. Whitebeard. I prefer eccentric. This man is not the Chosen One. There is no Chosen One. Of course he's the Chosen One! You dare question the ancient scrolls of questionable ethics? In an enlightened society, everything must be questioned. Did you get that? I tire of this blasphemy! I challenge you to a wizarding duel! Oh, you poor soul. Just stab him with the pointy end! Shut up! Are you sure you don't want to call this off? I really don't want to kill you, you know. Never! You horned Torag! Then I'm very sorry. Grant your Jumeka! I will crush you! Dement for nice, Minotaur, Jovet! What kind of a jewel is this? Monty Pythius Reference! No! The cuteness! My eyes! My eyes! Vagrantia Zementa! No! The cuteness! Snakey! Ah, compensating for something? Esaya, the Fabiro! Fava? Is that you? No. You're just an illusion! Vanessa! 
my love. Is that you? No. No, no, no! Do you submit, bull? Never! Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we appear to have experienced a small delay in our schedule. Why bit? Why bit? I'm afraid your friend is dead. Do you submit, bull? Never! Why bit? Why bit? I'm afraid your friend is dead. In Made of Onia, there are many eccentricities. There are people whose brains are in their legs, and so they must walk upside down to survive. There are people who believe that the king is heavier than a cathedral. And there are people who like sport. But the most eccentric are the Northmen. Alcohol runs in their veins, and they can only communicate in a very loud dialect. This anecdote has no bearing on the story whatsoever. We are totally not going to meet a Northman in this part of the story. Yes, totally not going to meet one. I don't understand. He died. But he died so... hilariously. I regret it was a desperation move. He put up good fight. That elephant was... impressive. Well, I guess I return home now. Whitebeard is dead, the sword of purpose is broken, and... Wait... Where's the armor of doing things? Ah, that is part of my great plan. Your plan? Oui, oui. I shall show you everything now for no particular reason. Follow moi. Ooh. Ooh. Zombies? No. He's just... Hungover. Oh, 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 my head. So, your plan is alcohol? Yes. If the soldiers are drunk, then they lose their fear of death. Along with the control of their legs. That is what we are working on here. Our men are practicing battling whilst drunk. I'm gonna stab you in the f Face! Oh, I'm sorry, I love you, man. They're still training. Why don't you just create a potion that removes all fear? I'm sorry? Or... Wait! You could summon large animals at will! Why don't you use an army of tigers, or something other than drunk people? Look, I've never been one for strategy. I just used to hit things, but the other side does that too, and we've been stuck for decades since. Do... 
Do you need a hand? <gasps> that would be marvellous! When could you start? The wooden spiders will be coated with oil and set on fire. They will charge through the enemy for a few minutes before exploding. The leaping crocodiles can wait in the boat and they will jump and eat anyone who comes out of the drawbridge. If the prisoner won't talk, just cut off a body part and offer to grow back if they'll tell you everything. No! No halberds! Ugh, what am I doing? The right thing, John. I will leave you to plan. I need to check on the progress of the killer ants. Psst! <gasps> snake! <laughs> Oi! I'm not a snake! Your weak need pillock! Who the hell for you? I'm here to spring here, of course. You've been enslaved by the dark creatures. No, no, they're not that bad. I don't care if they've been feeding your chocolate haggis. Come with me if you want to live, you scruff. Or what? <coughs> I thought this was a rescue. I could rescue you without your arm. <coughs> we'll see about that. You didn't have to do that, you know. Or be quiet, your pansy. If I did my way, you'd be dead. So who are you? Hamish McBad kidnapper? It's just McKidnapper! Oh, my apologies. And less of that lip, or they'll start <coughs> calling me Hamish McStab in the bum! But why are you rescuing me if you're a kidnapper? Right! Your other arm's going off! So where are we actually going? Or will I lose another limb for asking that? Oh, I've had it up to here with ya! Here's the map! Read it! Uh, this map's blank. Of course it is! No one in the north can read! Then how do you know where you're going? A spirit guides me. Telepathically, it borns and entwines me. Rich vocabulary for someone who can't read. That's it! <coughs> You've lost your legs! Good afternoon. Are you the king's last living descendant? Uh, yes. <laughs> now there is nothing to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Murder that has nothing to do with me! Smart plan! Now you have to carry me and I've run out of limbs. Can we have a conversation now? Uh, Alright. Where are you taking me? And who do you work for? I'm taking you to the elves. No! Why are you taking me there? I don't know. I'm just following the spirit. Why do you hate the elves? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. Um, good morning. Are you an elf? I'm sorry. You'll have to speak up. Our intelligent ears find it difficult to pick up such a flawed, mortal frequency. Yeah, I heard them already. Who's a mortal, enlightened company do you seek, flawed mortal? I seek a great spirit that guided me and my, uh, companion. Prisoner! Ah, you flawed mortal should speak to, nor less on. Can you take us to him? Of course, though. Your puny, flawed, mortal legs may find it difficult to keep up with me. Just take us there, or we'll see how immortal those legs are. Ah. Welcome, mortals, to the most enlightened place in the universe. Hi. I would shake your hand, but... 
You're welcome, mortal. Alas, your flawed mortal touch would break our immortal, intelligent skin. Alright, enough talk! Where's the spirit? He's right here. But be warned, he's not very happy. Not very happy? You idiots! You half-witted, incompetent idiots! Father? Idiots! You half-witted, incompetent idiots! Father? Hmm. There is an old saying in Maidaponia. Every action must have a reaction. In other words, doing stuff will result in other stuff happening that's related to the stuff which previously occurred. For example, killing a man will result in his son training for many years to confront and kill you in return. Therefore, always make sure you have as many children as possible, so they can avenge you if you're stabbed by an evil overlord. Or zapped by a wizard. Or squashed by an elephant. Stop looking so surprised! Haven't you ever seen an implausible comeback before? But... You died! Yes, and now I'm White Bears the White. Really? Of course I didn't die! I just teleported before that thing hit me! But what about the spirit? I have a subconscious mechanism that tells close friends where I am. I thought I turned it off. And as for you, I thought you were dead. Well, hoped you were dead. Oh, greetings to you too, Danny darling. Look, you were a freak accident between myself and something very hairy. That delightful mental image aside, why were you here? I teleported here to look for the Chosen One. Since all you've done is break the sword of purpose and lose the armor of doing things, you're obviously not it. Yes! Can I go home now? Be my guest, blacksmith! What? But I've only been gone for a few days. John Redwood, you're under arrest. Oh, I don't think so. I've only stolen an ancient relic, consorted with a kidnapper, betrayed the Empire by assisting Dark Creature. Oh. Well, at least I didn't sleep with anyone! Oh, it's alright for some, isn't it? Da! What are you doing here? My beloved father put me somewhere safe. Well, at least there's a roof over my head. That's better than what most people get in the north. Look, can you please shut up and knock me unconscious? I'm sick of being captured, and I'm sick of you. Alright, point made. 
Vatsnas dos, stopis nu silvia. Um, you want a massage? Forgive us with our mortal superior dialect. Just answer my question, you gods among men! Just as your spirit summons your companions, the spirit of the Chosen One will call you. So, there is a Chosen One. Follow your instinct, as your son did. I have no son. You have twenty. I started early. That is obvious. Oh, go and hug a tree. Redwood, the king wants to see you. Tell that pompous fathead to get stuffed. I'd rather wear women's clothing than see the king. You lied. We're still seeing the king. And this isn't my size. Well, it's against the law to disobey the king's summons. But it's not against the law to wear women's clothing. Thank goodness for our progressive society. Now look here, I might have betrayed my fatherland, but what honest patriotic young man wouldn't have done the same? Oh my god. Wormface. King Wormface. Where's the king? What have you done to him? Why are you dressed as a woman? I asked my question first. Didn't you know? He and his family tripped and fell on top of a ten-foot halberd while sleeping. Such a tragic accident. You murdered him, didn't you? Now that the king and his family are dead, all my schemes can be put into place. <laughs> oh, here we go. First, I shall make sure that poor people receive fairer wages. I'm sorry? Next, I propose that taxes shall be equally proportioned among the populace. I've gone mad. It's finally happened. Finally, I shall make steps to end this war once and for all. Not with a giant battle, but through peaceful negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a maniacal tyrant. Of course not! I just say things very evilly. It's a side effect of being born in the South. And did you say you wanted to negotiate? The King was too proud to admit we're losing the war. There has been too much bloodshed. And at this rate, it'll continue for all eternity. So, you killed the King and his family to make peace? <laughs> yes. I'm surprised the king remained unmurdered for so long. I'm tempted to deify him just for surviving it all. Sorry, I think I have the wrong dimension. I captured you because my spies inform me you've been working closely with the bull. Yes, I am a traitor to the Empire. You may now chop my head off. Oh no, I wasn't going to execute you. Oh, I want you to proceed straight back to the bull and tell him I eagerly await his presence. Together, we shall draw up a peace treaty. <laughs> and then I'm free. Free as a fart. Okay, I guess I'll be off then. Stop right there! I've come to spring ya, John! Um... Oh no! Hamish McKidnapper! My army of guards are powerless before you! Well, that's to be expected! No man can handle me! You probably shouldn't say that whilst wearing a dress. Now, let us heroically fight our way out of the castle, losing many vital organs in the process! Or, we could just run for it. Good idea. But can we at least jump out of the window? 
Fine. I don't think I can get her up. Oh, don't be a baby. Now, let us... Brilliant. We could have just walked out of the door, but you had to make a spectacle of yourself. Oh, don't be a baby. Let's see. Thank you for purchasing the Scrying Cauldron. Should you wish to purchase an accompanying fire, please order by outpost. Oh, never mind that! Activators called Rodeo! Welcome to the Scrying Pool 6. Who would you like to call? Uh, the Master! Calling. Dave, Dave Random Bloke met at, at the pub. No, no! Call the Master! Calling the master. Who is it? What do you want? Master? Oh, oh elf, elf, it's you. you. Blue Ear or whatever your name is. Master, I've called to request your services. Well, it's ten gold for a tea, so to fifty to go all the way. The other service. Oh, oh, all, all right. right. One, One gem, gem for a teleport. teleport. Here. Right. right. Now, where now do where you do want, you want to, go? to go? I'm searching inside myself for the chosen one. I know it's spirits calling me, but I can't find the sodding thing. Right. right. Hold, Hold still, still and I'll teleport, teleport you to where, to where the, spirit the spirit is or, or whatever, whatever you said. said. Oh, thank you. Thank you, master. And never, never call, call me, me again. again. Now that I have the armor of doing things, victory in this war will be mine! All mine! Hmm. I really must stop talking to myself. The Thousand Year War has raged on and on for a long time. Specifically, a thousand years. Scholars believe it began with someone saying rude things about someone's mother. Since then, the conflict escalated when people began seeing rude things about each other's appearance. And finally, people began hitting each other with sharp objects. It was only 900 years later when the great wizards discovered the prophecy of the Chosen One. This all occurred before there were such concepts as sitting down and discussing things over a cup of tea. Chosen one, join me on your- You? You? But I killed you! Not hard enough. Let me guess, a teleportation spell? Yes. I arranged the vigil in your honor. I treated you like a hero. And you cheated. Cheated? I have a quest to finish. The fate of made-up Odia rests awkwardly on my pointy hat. Then why did you challenge me to a duel? Why does my master think you're the chosen one? Chosen one? There is no chosen one! 
I am obviously wasting my time here. Yes. Yes, you are. Sir, there are two transvestites at the gate. Two what? Ugh. You know, I never quite appreciated how heavy the human body was until now. Well, now you know how I felt lugging you all the way to the elves. Oh, yeah? Well, that was because you acted like an idiot. And I'm lugging you back to the dark creatures because you acted like an idiot. Again! I'm sorry, John. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have snapped. Shouting won't help anything. But complaining will. Does idiocy make you even heavier? Because you weigh more than a dragon with an underactive thyroid. Oh, elf! I would flesh-eating parasites easier to get rid of than you two! As ever, a warm fatherly welcome. Why are you two here? We've come to see the bull. Why? The king is dead. Wormface wants a peace treaty. Can we get some alcohol in here? So the Thousand Year War is over? Wormface seems to want it to be. Well, we all want it to be. But this guy doesn't want to end it in bloodshed. I thought you of all people would want bloodshed. Only bloodshed in the tavern brawl sense. I mean... This war's been going on for a thousand years. That's... a long time. Nicely put. I will not negotiate. What?! I have forged my legacy over twenty years. I am the bane of the Empire. I am... the Bull. And history will remember you as such. But will history remember my people's suffering? Will they remember how the Empire burned our villages, enslaved us, demonized us, and ruined my people? They murdered my family! I can never make a deal with them. The only deal I will make is which sharp objects the Empire would like to be impaled with. Okay, that needs more work, but I will not negotiate. Go back to King Vermface and tell him we march tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yes. The weapons you've designed are underway. And we've stopped using alcohol. So this is it. You're ending the war with violence. I can never forgive the Empire. I can never forget. The Empire is crumbling. Vermface is more than willing to start again. Do you honestly trust this Vermface guy? Well, no. But I don't trust you either. What? After I rescued you and let you join us? I am not known for my kindness, John Redwood. Yes. I can see that now. It is a shame that we cannot see from the same eye. Indeed. I'm out of here. You know that people will die if you choose to end it this way? Yes. People I don't care about. Including your people. Ah. I'm going with John. How? Well, I would go if I had legs. <laughs> Consider that my final act of kindness. You are staying? Whitebeard? Yes. My master claims you're the chosen one, and I am bound by my quest. I still don't know what his accent is. John! Wait! So, what's happening now? I don't know. Shouldn't we warn Wormface? I think we'd be better if they were caught by surprise. It would make the battle swifter. Why do you think the Empire will be defeated? The majority of the Imperial Army uses halberds. Even without my weapons, they'll be slaughtered. Will that help the Empire? No! My weapons are going to kill hundreds. The more I interfere, the more people are murder. Well, if you won't tell Wormface, then I will. 
which wears it back to the capital. <sighs> Tell you what, the elves aren't far from here. I'm sure you can get a teleport and I can stay there for a while. So you're not going to help anyone. I'm going to do what I should have done from the very start. What? Nothing. The elves are the other way. I knew that! My people! Tonight, we march to the capital. We will take the heart of the Empire. We will end the thousand years of torment inflicted upon us. Tomorrow shall be our day. The Empire will burn!